Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, friends. Welcome to Let's Start the Interview channel. I am Professor Rao here. Let's today talk about virtual communication, how to communicate in virtual world. The pandemic coronavirus has taught us very tough lessons and, uh, and it is uh, really imperative that uh, we also have learned a lot to adapt to the situation. As you know, we are in the era of survival of the most adaptable. Therefore, it is not necessarily the fittest individual. Is the, the most adaptable individual is the one who will survive Future. and thrive. So we have been adaptive. We have been adaptable to the situation, changing times, and the coronavirus has taught us very tough lessons. And communication is a very important thing in academic or corporate life or official life. Communicating in a virtual world is uh, is really really is going to go and work from home is the new novel and we are going to virtually connect in the coming uh, probably a few years communicating the virtual world is a challenge but it's an opportunity and uh, if we have your preparation and your uh, pointers ready and uh, it is uh, though it's a challenge <coughs> it is an opportunity and it can be managed we need to adopt the changing as change as change is the only constant. Is it? A change is here to stay, change is the only constant. And we have been watching, witnessing so many changes, and uh, the pandemic situation is uh, yet another change. Maybe for a couple of years, we have, we have a sort of virtual working, work from home, virtual learning, and we need to adopt the changes. And we have no choice, and uh, cause change is the only constant. Change is here to stay, adopt to change, account times to change, understand change, embrace change. Cause change makes people and business young and change is good in a way. So we need to adopt to the change, we have no choice. The pandemic has taught us new lessons and also newer skills. Skills in interacting with people virtually, skills in using new technology. Some, some of the ramifications are really uh, happen as a byproduct and uh, it is really in a way is a good thing. How to communicate virtually? Remember the names of your employees and colleagues when you are talking to people in the virtual environment and work from home scenario or probably in online class scenario for the academic students. Speak from the heart. Be open, honest and be uh, candid with your communication and uh, be, be open and speak from the heart. Let's not have any hidden agenda and we will be very open because virtual environment we don't have an opportunity of meeting the people face to face in communication which is a process of transmitting the message from the sender to the receiver. Body language, eye contact, gesture, posture, and your, your, the way you dress and your smile, your nod, constitute 55% of the message. 55% of the message we communicate through body language, 38% of the message we communicate through voice, para language, and only 7% of the message we communicate through language. Therefore, we need to be you know, attentive, we need to be honest, we need to speak from the heart, and we need to be open and candid. You need to be enthusiastic, enthusiastic and contagious. So take care that uh, you need to be enthusiastic and uh, keeping up all elements of uh, you know communication. And enthusiasm is percolating, it is contagious and it is uh, it makes the, the other individual also you know enthusiastic. Get creative and think out of the box and think in various innovative creative ways of connecting with people and using technology and think out of the box, come out of your comfort zone and uh, be creative, be innovative and uh, you know something new see that how we can connect up and excite people build your story be a good storyteller isn't it when you are communicating virtually be a good storyteller so all that we need to work hard in order to enhance our communication and uh, you know you should, naturally the human beings remember the best when you give it in the form of a story so be a good storyteller to, you know if you ought to be a good communicator we need to be a good storyteller and build our story and see what you are going to say yeah, probably being a, an official meeting or uh, being a virtual class, classroom session, whatever the content, or be it a, meet with the customer and uh, explain your concept, your, your project and your assignment in the form of a brief story. Be attentive, have eye for detail with passion, with precision, it is very important. Be attentive to details, have an eye for details and uh, provide all the necessary information because it's very important. Imagine that is a virtual meeting, virtual communication, virtual class, work from home scenario is as good as your physical uh, of 
offline communication. So therefore, both are equally important and both, there's not big difference actually, except for the fact that uh, we meet people and understand emotions a little more better. Uh, otherwise, uh, I mean, it could be managed. Virtual communication, have an open mind. Mind works best when it's open, so have an open mind. We, we, we keep an open mind when you're interacting with people virtually. Picture what's said, have a mind map of things and ideas, what you said and what you are hearing and then uh, so that you remember better, you can interpret better and you can assimilate, understand better and listen attentively. Listening is the most important uh, as the first uh, element of communication and we need to listen to understand, not just to respond, listen. Don't interrupt, uh, don't interrupt the people when they are talking, be a great world class listener and uh, active listener and never interrupt the people and uh, then then understand the message, then start giving the response. Give feedback, be constructive on improvement. See, when you give feedback, then look at, look at the context, not the person, and give a feedback, constructive feedback. It is genuine, honest intention of uh, improving the system, improving the things, improving the processes, and improving the uh, what is called the content. Be empathetic and put yourself in the shoes of other people and think and see that how the others would pursue the way you speak and how, what, and what way they're coming from and look at things from 360 degree you know, angle and understand, empathize uh, from the, from all the perspectives. Note the non-verbal cues, body never lies, isn't it? So body language is very critical, body language speaks louder than words, body never lies because 55% of the communication happens through our body language. Therefore, when you are you know, meeting virtually, or Google Meet or Skype or uh, Zoom call, whatever. So look at it and see that uh, uh, not the nonverbal cues, nonverbal mechanism. Have a pleasant interaction. Uh, interaction. So it's basically it's open having the throat, the work from I mean, the meet throughout the, the class or you know, learning session. Have a great pleasant interaction and uh, sign off with a digital handshake in a very pleasant note, in a friendly note. Smile, enjoy, and have fun. Very, very important. Smile, enjoy, have fun, and have a great interaction, and see that virtual meet, virtual communication is uh, more or less close to a lot different from uh, offline, uh, you know, face-to-face -face communication. Therefore, see that you make it as enjoyable as possible. Smile, enjoy, and have fun. Good communication is just as stimulating as black coffee, and just as hard to sleep after. What actually Lindbergh has said that. So basically. Uh, you know, embark on the good communication. There will be virtual communication is no different, and uh, being cautious about these pointers. And thank you. Wish you all the best.